Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Grows the Vale on an unusual Thursday night kickoff here in the National League first uh, for Wildstone versus Dorking Wanderers. It can't be underestimated how big a game this is in the season for both of these teams as they make their way onto the pitch. And joining me tonight to go through the playing affairs is River. Welcome, River. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Paul. And I think yeah, the importance of this game cannot be understated for both sides. Uh, I think we're in for a proper humdinger tonight. I think you're right. And uh, as the teams do come out, Wheelstone in their familiar blue and Dorking are playing in a bright orange kit. Wheelstone throws. It goes into a dark or into the edge of the box. He turns. He has a shot on this. Well gathered by Harrison Mayo. That's the first shot on target by, by either team. Mundell Smith's feet and Kittle does win it off of Henry, but high, wide and sliced. Didn't, didn't panic there. Alaraki was able to maintain control of the board. De Silva whips it in. It's cleared by Craig. And Henry, he's known for his set piece quality. Let's see what he can do this time round. Whips it in. Oh, it finds Hollis's head. He's found everything tonight, Hollis, so far. As Dyer goes back into Henry. Henry can't get it on his right foot. Does clip it in with his left foot to the back post. It's cleared away. Not a bad effort. It's good defending from, I think, from Philpot there as De Silva comes inside. Whips it. Great ball. Oh, just a little bit too high for a dark wood, but the right idea there from Dylan De Silva on the opposite side to what he's used to. They are defending well here, Dawkins, when Wilson looking threat. Dyer can find De Silva, spread the play. Can he get beyond Bobby Joe Taylor? He can, he's to the byline. Can he pull it back? Oh, he has a shot with the outside of his boot, and it's Harrison Mails had to make a save. It drops to Henry. As an excellent effort by Dylan De Silva, everyone thought he might pull it back and he's sort of hit it with the outside of his boot towards the goal and his males had to save it. That's an another great chance for Wildstone. Yeah, forcing the keeper there. Fresh miles. Hopefully it drops. Darkwood cuts inside. He has to tackle the ball as Craig steps out. And that's the half-time whistle. Nothing to split this side so far. Ball goes into Moore. Moore heads it down. To Josh Taylor. He finds Blair, who gets the touch early with his left foot, comes in, and it's an own goal. Charlie Barkle will slice the ball into his own net. It's 1 0 to Dawkin, two minutes gone in the second half. The early threat from Tom Blair, and what I alluded to, the better quality as you go down the left hand side. Tom Blair has got himself free. He's managed to get a ball into the box that Barker has had to deal with. And as it stands now, Dorkin are winning 1-0 here at the Vale against Wildstone. Darker can't get rid of Hollis, who seems to be pulling his shirt. And the Darker does try and find the silver, but it's blocked by Bobby Joe Taylor, who's been impressive on this left-hand side. As he comes down, he runs with the ball. He comes inside. He finds... I think that was Philpott who had the shot on Mewitt and it's blocked and it's crossed in again. It's 2 0. It's another disastrous goal. Free header. And Dawkins are well and truly in control of this game so now. I think Will Stone are complaining that the ball didn't actually go in the net. They're saying that the players touch the net and not the ball. Wilson have got 35 minutes of this half to salvage some of it as it goes down the line. Barrett's able to shin the ball away and the last thing Wilson can do here is panic and concede another. Got to wake up, Wilson. They've certainly got something to hold on to. Cook finds a dark one. The dark was in his room. He's in the bottom. He's missed. He's absolutely missed the sitter. The ball dropped into the six yard box. He's only got to hit the target there. And I think he's going to be going in. Do we just need better quality as Wildstone players in that in their half? 
Barrett heads it back, drops to the silver. The silver miss kicks it. Dorking players dying to get in there and get the ball. Henry chops in onto his left foot, clips it to the back post. Barrett scores! It's two Come one. On! It's two one to Dorking. Harrison Mail won't give the ball back. No, it's game on now. Come on, Wilson! Barrett now. He's got the ball at the back post. He scored a header. That was a beautifully weighted ball from Aaron Henry, was it? It was, yeah. yeah he Aaron chopped, Henry, it, he chopped he in does. on his left hand side and he's clipped it to the back post. And I think it was Barrett who was up from the uh, from the corner. That's outrageous. Oh, what a great what effort a from Luke Moore. Excellent no, effort from Moore. If that's settled in, I think that would have been game set and match. A short corner routine. As if it was hockey. What's Aaron Henry going to do? He's going to whip it low and hard. It hits Cook, but Cook just couldn't get his bearings in front of goal. And oh. Buck and carry forward. And he can find Alaraki. Alaraki can't get the ball down, but Lukaku can put pressure on Mal. Mal can getting clear well he finds Cook Cook the silver one it's on the right hand side but Cook slows the ball down looking who can he pass to you can find a dark one a dark one holds it up you can find he gets into Kretschmer Kretschmer has a shot and he hits the ball it's a goal it's a goal it's a goal oh, it's a goal Max Kretschmer smashes it into the top of the net and he punches the air with joy it's Wheelstone 2 Dorking 2 the ball goes into a dark one. A dark one can find Kretschmer on a third man run. And he finds the only place he could to beat in male. He goes into the roof of the net. The silver holds the ball up against Bobby Joe Taylor. Can find Bowen. Bowen looks to the advancing Barker. And Barker can find Mundell Smith. Mundell Smith can cross the ball in. It drops into Kretschmer. Kretschmer has a shot. A bit more power on than that. And that was going bottom left corner. Harrison Mayle does well to dig it out of the sand and funny enough he, he's going a bit quicker now with the ball. 20 minutes to go here at the Vale, the Hollywell goes up, we are the Stones. There's still life in this game as I said for both teams here, next goal is going to be massively important as it ball goes into a dark wood, dark wood can get one on one with Craig, he pushes it inside to Chris and that's a penalty, it's a penalty to Willstone. Max Kretschmar, the king of penalty wins, goes down. Referee blows his whistle. Another deep breath from Kretschmar and he fires the goal! And this is a massive turnaround from the Stones. Max Kretschmar runs into Dead Fox corner. The Hollywell go up. It's Wheelstone three, Dorking two, with just under 20 minutes to go in this half. Oh, Bill is in raptures now. God, I wish I was down there. goal will be crucial here because it could kill the game if Wills don't score if Dawkins score it the momentum goes with them Barrett heads it forward Bowen helps it on Taran Alarak is in he's in he scores he scores he scores Taran Alarak he's in that's my boy man that's my boy that's my boy as I said it the next goal is important and Willstone have managed to get that fourth goal. Jubilation. Hooked over the top by the very impressive Henry tonight. And Alarak had composed himself, let the ball bounce down. Half volleyed it past Mail in the six yard box. The Hollywell goes up again. It's Willstone four, Dorking two. Willstone are tenacious enough to try and get hold of the ball and keep it. And it goes again into a dark one who's held the ball up brilliantly in this second half. He was indifferent in the first half, but. He's been superb in this second half and it's been that difference when the ball's gone into him to start creating chances in the thirds. Jack Cook strides forward. Luke Moore tries to, and Cook keeps going. He's going all the way. He finds a dark one who can't oh, score. No. Oh, How has he not sure. scored there? Oh, my sure. Jack Cook has marauded through the whole Dorking team. 
and he squared it brilliantly to a dark corner. And the dark was only got to put it in the bottom corner. That really could have sealed the game there with the dark corner. And I think the whole of the Buller thought it was going in. Cissé heads the ball forward. The Darkwood can get in behind Bobby Joe Taylor. Joe Taylor, oh, Darkwood can get the ball down. What a goal! Oh. Now he had the made for men there, wouldn't he? That was unlucky from Darkwood. So he showed a little bit of skill and a bit of tenacity, was flicking it over, getting it down. We certainly are into the last knockings for Dorkin here. They've nice got to try and do something. Is. Mundelswick can clear it out and Tarin Alarakia, can he run at that defence? He can. He can oh, keep he's running. back. He yeah, he's back. You he can see he's back. He can keep running. He can find Cissé who he opens up his legs. And it looks like Callum Cissé has oh. been snipered from the stands as he ran forward with the ball there. Young can play the ball down the line. Blair's inexplicitly played it into a Darkwood. Darkwood's one on one. Can he get a shot away? He can. It's saved by That's Mail. Again. Tight angle from now. It's not a foul against Dawkins. Sam Bowen can move forward. It's a winner. And that is a massive, massive win for the Stones. And it's nothing more than they deserve. They were 2 0 down. They were gone. They looked gone. And they've mustered up the energy, the courage. They fought for the badge on the front of that shirt for all those fans in the Hollywell stand and the other stands. And they've come out of this game and they have won 4-2 against relegation threat and Dorking. And I think that's them potentially gone now. Mathematically, they can still stay up, but it's looking desperate for them. As for Wildstone, it's still in their own hands. Wheelstone 4, Dorking Wanderers 2.